Once we sent him the facts, the editor left us alone. But the trouble was, by the time we'd done it, there was only an hour left to finish the story, and there was still no sign of Dad. He'd said he was only going to the library. What was keeping him so long? <sighs> She's perfection. Such a distraction. No wonder I've lost my concentration. How can I get her attention? Aha! I know how to get a reaction. Uh, could you show me which section this book belongs in, please? I can't leave my post, I'm afraid. That's not my function. Mr. Rutty will take you. How are we doing for time? Oh no, there's only 15 minutes of the bike gets here. And we've still got all this to do. Well, don't use up the time panicking then. Let's think about what the captain would do to distract the Crinkleyan so the landing party can escape. Okay. Um, it would be something really heroic. Yes, but what? Your dad's drawn him into a complete corner. I've got it! The captain would use his water cannon attachment on his utility piffer. Um, I'm sorry to be thick, but I don't get it. Oh, I do. It's fiendish. If Captain Crimson covered Commander Crinkley in with water, then all her crinkles would drop out. Exactly. She'd start screaming blue murder because her body's going flat. The, the Crinklians would rush to help her. And the landing party could escape back to the ship. An AC peach of a plan. Ah, how does Captain Crimson get away? Let's worry about that in a minute. We're running out of time. The bike will be here in about ten minutes. Let's see. The captain's plan was sheer... Perfection? Oh, perfection. At his instruction, the landing party leapt into action. How about if the captain said, This will pour cold water onto your plans. Now go, all of you, go! <laughs> Commander Crinkleyan's going to be furious. I think she'd say, What's that funny smell? Why would she say that? Because something's burning. Something gingery. Gingery? Oh, no. I left the gingerbread men in the oven. Thomas, the bike's here. Can't be. The captain hasn't escaped yet. Oh, no. What are we going to do now? And your dad's back. It's a black hole. I can see that. No, 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 no. It's a black hole in space. That's how the captain escapes. Through the black hole. Don't panic. Don't panic. The bike has arrived to collect the captain. Crimson, I'm sorry. And I haven't finished it yet. Dad. There's no need to panic. No panic required. No panic Dad. required. Don't interrupt me, son. I'm busy panicking. We've done it, Dad. You've done what? Finished your Captain Crimson story. You have? We have. Ah, oh, yo, kiddo. The Adventures of Captain Crimson, Space Crusader. Captain Crimson and the crew of the starship Galileo were patrolling through space when First Officer Optic picked up a distress signal. Captain, there's a Mayday call from Xanthior M3. Signal that we're on our way. Chief Engineer Widget slammed the Galileo's thrusters into high space overdrive. Little did Captain Crimson realize that he was heading straight into a deadly trap. His arch enemy, Commander Crinklian's intention, was to crinkle Captain Crimson and his crew into a trillion lifeless pieces. The starship Galileo is approaching, your crinkliness. <laughs> now all of hyperspace shall be mine. Captain Crimson was suspicious. The Mayday signal had disappeared. He took a landing party and beamed down to the planet's surface. Too late, the captain realized that he'd been lured into an ambush. Only the Crinklians could have caused such total devastation.
Stand by for hostile action. Suddenly, a cluster of Crinklians sprang out at them. <gasps> There's no escape, Crimson. Prepare to perish. The captain had a bold and daring plan. His crew could escape if he distracted the Crinklians. There was no time to lose. He quickly set the water cannon attachment on his utility pipper to hyperspin. Take me, but let my ship and crew go free. Why should I? I want to see your utter destruction. The captain's plan was sheer perfection. At his instruction, the landing party leapt into action. This will pour cold water on your plans. <laughs> Go, all of you, go! <laughs> Captain Crimson was cornered. He was facing a fate worse than death. Then, something strange caught his attention. Bring him back alive! You'll have to catch me first. A black hole had suddenly appeared. Nobody had ever risked going into one before, especially without a spacesuit. But it was the captain's only hope. Catch him! In your dreams, crinkle brain. So our space hero outwitted the evil Crinklians and lived to fight another day. Curses! Fired again! Dad was knocked out with the work we'd done on Captain Crimson. So he was happy, the editor was happy, and I was happy. It seemed like everything was sorted. I thought I'd rescued Captain Crimson by helping him escape through the black hole. But after tea that day, something happened, which gave me the biggest shock anyone's ever had in ten billion years. and happiness. What planet is this? Captain Crimson? Naturally. How will Thomas stop Captain Crimson coming to Jeff's attention? What is Amy's reaction to our space hero? Can you picture the devastation when the captain disobeys an instruction not to leave the house? All this and more with Captain Crimson. Our intention is to cram packet with action. So watch this face. <laughs>